हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स मैथमेटिक्स इज फुल ऑफ वंडरफुल थिंग्स एंड यू नो व्हेन यू स्टार्ट गेटिंग इनटू दोज थिंग्स लर्निंग न्यू थिंग्स यू स्टार्ट एप्रिशिएटिंग द ब्यूटी ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप फाइव वंडर्स ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स यू नो यू कैन एक्चुअली परफॉर्म देम इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सरप्राइज देम सो वॉच द एंटायर वीडियो दीज फाइव वंडर्स are really going to be exciting if you have not clicked the subscribe button till now please do it uh, along with the subscribe button you need to press the bell shaped icon also so that you keep on getting all the notifications of these wonderful uploads on our channel suresh agarwal's mathematics shortcuts so let's get on with the five amazing things which i am going to tell you in this particular video the first one relates to the calendars you know calendars they are full of amazing things and the most amazing thing about a calendar is the magic which i am going to tell you so i'll tell you how to demonstrate this uh, uh, with a friend or you know anybody in the family so ask the friend or a member of your family to open any calendar any month any year calendar on the mobile phone and pick up any four numbers like here i have selected the march 1963 calendar okay so they can pick up four numbers which are in a square like this so they will not tell you what are these numbers they will pick up any four numbers which are in this order it has to form a square so it can be 13 14 20 21 or it can be 17 18 24 and 25 likewise you can have a different month and a different year and ask them to select four numbers forming a square now what do you have to tell them you have to ask them what is the sum of the four numbers they have chosen like suppose they chose 13 14 20 and 21 so they add 13 14 20 and 21 and they will tell you this sum so in this case it is 41 51 61 68 right so you need this number and using this sum you will tell them what four numbers did they choose not the month and the uh, uh, year they you will tell them the four numbers which they they have taken up and uh, of which the sum is 68 right you don't know which year is that calendar uh, which month which year does that calendar belong to but still you can identify the four numbers i hope you understood what is the trick right so once you know this 68 what you have to do is from that sum from that sum subtract 16 now this is a fixed number which you have to remember okay and divide the result by 4 okay so let's see what happens here they tell you that the sum is 68 so in the mind you will do 68 minus 16 which is 52 right and if you divide this result by 4 you are going to get 13 right and see is there anything any relation between this and the four numbers chosen the numbers were 13 14 20 and 21 so you got the first number so when you subtract 16 from the sum and divide the result by 4 you will always get the first number your friend has chosen and how do you find the remaining numbers you found 13 right so just add 1 to this you get 14 just add 7 to this you get this number 20 and then add 1 to this you get 21 so what are the numbers you got 13 14 20 20 and 21. and 21 you can tell them in a flash i tell you just practice this and this will be really really amazing let's take one more example here suppose they opened the calendar of september 2001 so irrespective of which one is the year and which month they have chosen the trick will work for every calendar so let's suppose they took the numbers like let's have big numbers here 
the biggest one are here so let's suppose they took 21 22 28 and 29 which you don't know obviously they told you that the sum of these numbers so these are this is like 50 and this is also 50 so the total they tell you is 100 now what you do in your mind subtract 16 from this 100 what do you get 84 and when you divide 84 by 4 you get 21 and so you can tell that the first number is 21 and the next number 1 added to this 22 then 7 added to 21 is 28 and then 1 more than this 29 and you get your answer so you don't have to use any pen and paper just uh, listen to what the, uh, is the sum they obtained divide that uh, divide that by 4 after subtracting 16 and that's it you get the first number and then plus 1 plus 7 and plus 8 you get the remaining numbers isn't that wonderful just try it with your friends and i'm sure they'll be surprised let's move on to another important one suppose you ask somebody to prove 5 equal to 9 but there has to be some logic okay and when you think about logic when you talk about logic you know you talk about reasoning logical reasoning and this is a question of logical reasoning only so how do you prove 5 equal to 9 mathematics cannot prove 5 equal to 9 it is mathematically false but logic can prove that it is true how you know corresponding to every alphabet you have a number like a is 1 b is 2 c is 3 likewise x is 24 y is 25 and z is 26 right so corresponding to every alphabet we have a number now if i write the number name of this so it is f i b e and if i write the number name of this this is n i n e now corresponding to f let's write the alphabet number f happens to be the sixth letter i is the ninth letter v is the 22nd letter and e is the fifth letter likewise n is the 14th letter i is again the ninth letter and again so 14th letter and e is fifth letter now let's check the sum of these numbers surprisingly this will add up to 42 and likewise these numbers also add up to 42 so they give you the same result and this is a logical proof that 5 and 9 are equal according to some particular logic that was the second one the third one is even more amazing adding two digit palindromic numbers now let's not call them as palindromic numbers because this is you know most often you know the palindromic numbers are used for this trick but let's call them and adding two digit what do you call them uh, to and fro when you move from left to right and you from uh, write the number from right to left okay so we will add two digit numbers but the numbers will follow a property the property is suppose i have to add 86 and add what 68 to that see 86 68 now the trick works only for these kind of numbers okay so don't try to apply it on any two digit numbers you will put the comments that sir it is not working so the property is 86 68 likewise it can be 74 and 47 it can be 39 and 93 it can be 58 and 85 so for all these numbers the trick will work watch 8 and 6 i'll just add these two numbers okay 8 and 6 is 14 so i'll write 14 here and do the same thing once more if i add 1 and 4 i will get 5 just put the 5 in between them and check whether the sum is 154 see how quickly we can do that 7 and 4 is 11 and 1 plus 1 is 2 check the sum 
Likewise, nine plus three, you can do here or here. It doesn't matter. Okay, nine plus three is twelve, and one plus two is three. Eight plus five is thirteen, and one plus three is four. So within one second, you can actually add these type of numbers. A two-digit number and its reverse number. Very very interesting and very easy trick. Next up, we have the pan-digital numbers. Now, first thing is you should understand what are pan-digital numbers. When I say pan India, right? It means entire India, all across India. Pan-digital that means all digits. Suppose a number. Contains all the ten digits zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. Then we call it pan digital. So there can be an expression which is pan pan digital. That means it will contain all the digits from zero to nine. And there can be a single number, a natural number, which is pan digital, like two four six eight zero one three five seven nine. This is pan digital, right? Because it contains All the digits from zero to nine. There can be a zero less pan-digital number. Zero less. That means the number doesn't contain zero. And apart from zero, it contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in any order. So you understood what are pan-digital numbers. Now look at the beauty of pan-digital numbers. I am trying to use factorization of a five-digit number. Prime factorization. So let's take an example of the number two six four eight seven. Two six four eight seven. If you convert this into its prime factors, you will get three times three times three times three times three and times one zero nine. Now you can check the result will be two six four eight seven. Now, how do you write this in exponential form? This is three raised to power five, right? And times one zero nine. Now, look at this expression. This particular expression which we obtain. Check how many digits are contained in this, and are the digits repeated? You will be surprised. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Likewise. we can have so many examples of five digit numbers where the prime factorization of that particular number you know this expression will contain all 10 digits let me show you some more examples this is the first one we have another example where we are doing 28651 i'll write the prime factors of this number also let's have another one where i am doing prime factorization of 6105 And another one where I am doing six five eight two one prime factorizations of all these numbers. If I do the second one, I will get seven times four zero nine three. Four zero nine three is a prime number, so I am leaving leaving it there. Here, this is two times and seven times seven times seven is seven cube, and then we have eighty nine. And in this case. It is seven times a prime number nine four zero three. Now see whether all these follow the same property or not. Zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. Again, you can check zero to nine. All digits are involved here, and in the last case also, you find all the digits being involved in a single expression. Pan digital numbers, and just think. how much of effort it this must have taken you know to find out this property of pan digital numbers likewise if you know pi the value of pi pi is 22 by 7 right so we can actually express this ratio 22 upon 7 in terms of some pan digital numbers so i have some numbers written with me here so i'll just show you 49302 in the numerator And one five six eight seven in the denominator. Now, if you divide these two numbers, you will see that the quotient is exactly the same when you divide twenty two by seven. So, the simplest form of this 
uh, fraction is also 22 by 7 and how many digits are involved here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 likewise we have another fraction 5 6 0 3 4 in the numerator see no digit being repeated there and 1 7 8 2 9 in the denominator all 10 digits involved and again the simplest form is going to be 22 upon 7 these are all the values of pi in terms of pan digital numbers and another one 62370 and divide that by all five digits are different again divide that by 19845 this again is the value of pi the simplest form is 22 upon 7 so work on this i think there are so many amazing properties of pan digital numbers hardly anybody has searched these type of numbers on google so try this and these are only some of the amazing properties there are so many different beautiful things about these type of numbers let's see another one the effect of small and consistent efforts mathematical interpretation of the consistent efforts so if i say that i work normally normally and i work little less little less than normal little less than normal and i work little more little more than normal now these are the three circumstances we, we all face in life normally we give a particular performance and sometimes we work little less than what we actually do and sometimes we work little more it may be due to so many factors now the performance or the output is affected greatly you know when we work little less or little more than normal so we are talking about 365 days of an year okay and all 365 days we are going to reduce the normal work a little bit so let's assume that every day you work one okay and so you are working for 365 days one times one times one times one you will always get the product as one this is normal now when you reduce it this one every day gets reduced to 0 0.99 see i have reduced it by 0 0.01 now raise it to 365 the same number of days and when you work little more little more consistently this is word this is the word consistent efforts 1.01 .01 raised to power 365 see what happens when you reduce the effort by 0 0.01 that is so small right you get 0 0.025 as the performance look at the difference how many times it got reduced and when you increase it by 0 0.01 the wonderful thing is this gives you 37.783 as the performance how many times did it increase just by increasing the effort every day by 0 0.01 so mathematically proved that the effect of small and consistent efforts is actually very very big so never fail in planning things and working little bit more than normal so that you know when you work consistently better than normal your performance will be manifold so friends these are some of the beautiful things in mathematics which i wanted to put up in this particular video i'm sure when you demonstrate these skills to your friends they will surely be amazed and do share this video link with them also so that they can uh, you know share it further and uh, i hope you have clicked the subscribe button and you must be getting all the notifications of the future uploads also right thanks for watching this i hope you enjoyed it all the best